were made for caring, were made for sharing, were made, were made to be good. Welcome, friends. It's my great delight to welcome you to the 2011 Skoll World Forum. Whether it's climate change, education, or human rights, the only way we're going to survive as a species is to pull together in our collective self-interest. We've just had a networking session. I've met two people who I think really could be potential partners. So. I'm happy already. Stop forcing on people what you think you can deliver best and start asking what they really want and delivering it. If we are not sustainable and we are telling our client to be sustainable, we are actually being dishonest. I strongly believe the importance of convening social innovators. You know, it's, it's really like a jolt, a boost of adrenaline rush for a week. I will never give up. I will continue to do it. And, and how can I give up? We do what we do because we love it. Challenge education. Challenge the system. You get chills and you just know that you are part of something bigger. I think it set a new standard for awards like this. Someone joked from the stage that these are like the Oscars of the social enterprise movement. And I think that is absolutely right. Rebecca Oni, Health Leads. Ellen Moyer, New Teachers Center. Madhav Chavan, Pratham. Ned Breslin, Water for People. I never knew what a social entrepreneur was, you know, 10 years ago, was, and now, now I do. And, uh, and I see how powerful these people are being in the world and, and in terms of transforming it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Skoll Foundation is truly honored to award the first ever Skoll Global Treasure Award to Archbishop Desmond Tutu. <laughs> by what I've heard, the people that I've networked with. For me, it's rebooted my system. 